Good morning, skiers and riders. Sugarloaf from Carabasset Valley. Time to take a check of your latest local forecast. Brought to you by the Widowmaker. Find them upstairs in the base lodge with a brand new look. And you can find this and much more on all your internet devices at our website, wskitv.com, when you can't see Channel 17. Partly sunny skies for the day today. We'll see summer temperatures comfortable, 28 to 32. Base temperatures 35 to 39, with a very light breeze from the west and the southwest. Should hardly be noticeable out there. Uh, so a nice, comfortable day, almost like some uh, an intro to spring skiing out there. So get out there and enjoy. Groomers did a great job last night, so there's going to be plenty to hit up all across the mountain. Looking ahead towards Saturday, we'll see increasing clouds throughout the day, then overnight snow changing over to some mixed precip, possibly uh, ending up as some rain, but turning before turning back over to snow you can see base temperatures getting into the lower 30s and doesn't look like that wind will be an issue but we could deal with some messy stuff on sunday snow mix some rain then over to some snow showers by monday as temperatures start to drop back down below freezing 32 for your high on monday at the base 30 for your high for tuesday at the base with partly sunny skies and a high of only or a low of 18 up towards the summit so the snowmakers will take a break for a little bit mother nature should help just a bit and then we'll get things back into shape friday january 24th uh birchwood interiors brings you a trail report check them out in village west 94 trails of ski and ride on nine lifts skinny of those runs 50 trails on the groomers list and some nice packed powder conditions out there so get out there and rip it up. Timberline, Upper Double Bitter, Tote Road, Spurline, King's Landing, and Hayburner, as well as Haywire, all groomed out for first thing this morning, as well as a couple passes on Skidder, Narrow Gauge, Competition Hill, Spillway and Sluice, all of Gondola Line, as well as Candy Side, Lower Winter's Way, Boardwalk, and all the terrain around the base lodge will be all groomed out as well. Heading over to the east side, you'll find Fresh Corduroy on Hallback, Wintermaker and Flume, as well as Ram Down, and Whiffletree, Two Hall, and Slasher to get you back over towards the base area, and Scoot over on the west side alongside all the terrain parks that are open. Got some work too. Snubber, Sawduster, and Skidway. Those three lifts get you around the base area at 8.30 this morning if you're just learning to ski or ride. That's where you want to head. You can get a little higher on the hill from Double Runner B. That's the east side. That gets going at 8.30 for runs down Boardwalk and Lower Winter's Way. It also drops you off at the base of the Skyline Quad, which gets going at 8.30. Skyline gets you up to Spillway Crosscut, will allow you to branch out all across the mountain. And right alongside that is the Super Quad, which runs at 8.30 and gets you to a variety of mid-mountain terrain. King Pine and Whiffle Tree over on the east side, those get going at 9 a.m. this morning. Some great grooming going on over there. Usually they end up over there, so uh, that'll be the freshest stuff. And then Timberline get going at 9 o'clock to get you up to the... Uh, just below the summit of the second highest mountain in Maine. Current conditions at the Outdoor Center are great out there. You may want to call about the ice rink just as temperatures have warmed up, but it was cold overnight. Snowshoeing is available. Fat biking is available. Uh, the Reddington Loop for fat bikes is not available. Still a bit too soft out there, but there is still some available in the network. And the single track across the street of the, of the narrow gauge pathway is in great shape and riding well as well so get out there and enjoy that thanks to all the volunteers that got out and packed that stuff down and don't forget february 1st is the fat bike race up at the outdoor center facebook twitter and instagram that's where we hang out on social media and we're always at our website wskitv.com with this latest local forecast our live quad cam shots so you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time as well as tons of videos of things to do to keep you busy while you're here in the main high peaks region